हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन नेस्ट मोन चैनल गाइज आई एम राम के सिंह यूनिटी गेम डेवलपर यूट्यूबर एंड ब्लॉगर सो फ्रेंड इन टूडे टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू एस डी के दैट इज द वी आर टू एस डी के सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन मच मोर डिफरेंसेज बट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू अ मेन डिफरेंस एंड वी विल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट दिस एस डी के दैट इज द ऑकुलस इंटीग्रेशन एंड यू कैन सी हियर इट इज रिटेन डेप्रिकेटेड सो मीन्स Oculus integration uh, SDK have been deprecated. Today we are going to learn that how we can integrate our new Meta Quest SDKs. Uh, let me talk about if you are creating any VR application in the Unity. So there is mainly two SDK VR SDK. First one is XR Unity. Basically, we use XR Unity. That is the cross platform with Open XR. Means you can use on HTC Vive. You can use on Oculus devices as well as you can use on other devices like Apple Vision Pro. And there is second uh, SDK is very popular. That is the Meta XR. Earlier its name was the company name was Oculus, but they have changed to Meta. Means Facebook name have been changed to Meta. Basically, the name have been also changed of the SDK. The name is Meta XR. So Meta XR work on Meta devices like Oculus One, Quest Two, Quest Three, and Quest Pro. So basically. uh i have already created tutorial xr if you have not watched so you can go and just there is few xr tutorial have been created on my channel so you can go and check out so in this tutorial i am going to explain that how you can install meta xr new sdk so here you can see it is old one last time when you were integrating oculus integration everything we were getting here like you can see everything here we are getting audio manager lip sync even voice sdk we are getting everything they have divide in parts like you can see meta xr core sdk meta xr integration sdk they have just divide in multiple and uh, there is one more sdk that is the meta xr all in one all the module of meta xr exists in meta xr all in one sdk you need one or particular sdk so you can use from you want to get all the things so you have to use this meta xr all in one sdk but the condition is that minimum unity version required is 2021.3 and let's give the name meta xr and just create it and here you can notice that my unity version is 2022.3. So here we have open our projects. Go back here, add to my asset. So here you can see we got in UPM Unity Package Manager. Install it. So here you can see while installing this, uh, they have uh, given a new thing like uh, send uses statics. So if you want to send, so you can you have to just on enable so that they can uh, check that what's going on with your application, what you are getting use. and if you don't want so you can just say don't say and uh, open the unity again and here you can see in the asset there is oculus folder but here you can see there is not that much like previous deprecated oculus have lots of thing to explore here you can see there were lots of thing to explore in oculus but at this time that there is nothing to do so in the package when you will go here you can see there is lots of thing here like it is in the core in the core you can go in the prefab and in the prefab and here you can see all the prefab you can get here so basically it is not in the asset it is in the package so the benefit of this will be like it will not increase your application size so it is inside the package okay and same thing whatever we were getting but the one thing i can notice that we are not getting a sample scene so in last one we were getting the sample scene uh, the thing is that if you want to use directly so here you can see there is one logo oculus logo when you will click here and here you can see project setup tool there are three outstanding request fixes so you can just click here so just to fix all and apply all means these are the basic settings and recommendation that it should apply on the vr uh, for the quest 3 so basically we are doing apply and fixing so basically it will be manage this thing like here you can see uh, xr plugin management package must be installed so it will be installed after fixing it and oculus xr plugin package must be installed so that will be also done so here you can see rendering instancing use it is studio so basically it is giving the recommendation that what should be setting up our project so just do apply you, you can click again here and here you can say 
building blocks so click here and in building blocks you can see there are so many things like camera rig uh, pass through surface project pass through room model and tracking virtual keyboard grabbing item means all the SDK is here but all the thing you are getting in the building blocks so basically you have to just add one by one on the basis of your requirement okay let's suppose we want this one so basically you have to just drag and drop here and your bu building block will be here okay let's suppose you want hand controllers so basically you can just drag and drop here so what's happening that i was just dropped here the first camera rig but when i was dropping here so it is getting placed on the right place so this is the beauty of new sdk means it is a little advanced on the basis of ai okay so let's close it whenever you want to add you have to add and here you can see all the uh, all the controllers you are getting here okay so on the basis of your requirement you can just add anything from here or if you don't want to access from here so here you can see there is oculus thing and here in the tools you can see all the ovr tools all the ovr platform tools is here like you can upload your upload your apk from here 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 you can see it is voice sdk so everything we are getting here the way the thing is for the meta device you have to go on the android and switch platform